Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another video. Today we're stepping away from the nuts and bolts of editing with LumaFusion and looking instead at how you can grow your editing vocabulary. In other words, how can your cuts say more than just what's on the screen? That's where Sergei Eisenstein's collision montage technique comes into play. Sergei who, I hear you saying? You may not know the name, but I guarantee you, you'll have seen his style of filmmaking. So who was Eisenstein? He was a Soviet filmmaker working in the 1920s. He's often called the father of montage, as he believed that editing wasn't just about joining shots together, it was about colliding them to provoke thought and emotion. His films like Battleship Potemkin and Strike left such a profound legacy that filmmakers today still borrow his methods to shape stories and even change the meaning of a scene. The Odessa step sequence in Battleship Potemkin is so powerful that it's been echoed and reinterpreted in films ever since. It set the standard for how montage could heighten drama and symbolism far beyond simple storytelling. And if Odessa sounds familiar, that's because it's a city in Ukraine, a place that sadly is being shelled almost daily in the current war. But here's how it looked before the conflict began. If you're over 35 and the sight of a pram bouncing down a staircase looks familiar, you've probably seen Brian De Palma's The Untouchables. In that film, De Palma pays direct homage to Eisenstein's Odessa step sequence. Then we get to the Naked Gun 33 and a third, the final insult. A parody sequence that spoofs the untouchables, while also nodding back to Eisenstein's Odessa Steps sequence all at once. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can watch the full Battleship Potemkin movie, which is on YouTube. Even though it's a silent movie, I guarantee you'll be totally engrossed in it. To finish things off, I'm just going to show you a few examples of real world ways to edit in the style of Eisenstein. This first clip, an old lady, somebody's grandma, looking very concerned at news from her phone. So if I've taken that clip and I've created a digital push-in using frame and fit. So two keyframes and then just a gentle push-in. That helps you focus up on her face. And then a flash transition and cut to a young lady going down steps. Now this could be many things. Thinking back to her youth, her thinking back to a friend, about her granddaughter or great granddaughter. The beauty of this style of edit is taking one piece of footage and another to get a new meaning. And this time I'm pulling out of the shot, so just the opposite of previous. And again, is she thinking back to the past? Is she thinking of a granddaughter? Is she thinking of a great niece? Is that a grandson? You just don't know. And then this time, I've faded down on effects just to kind of make it a washed out look. No push in. Just a cross dissolve, a girl, young girl hiking. So you just have to think of which ones you want to work to. Another juxtaposition you can actually do is to mix audio. So we've got coffee roasting going on here, but the audio is actually from milk being steamed. And it allows you to then cut to the scene. Well, this is known as an L cut normally. You can use the montage technique and have it work with the audio and particular sound effects. And there we go. If you enjoyed the video show today, don't forget to give it a like and share. And I will catch you on the next one. See you later.